common example of reflection. Very common. Huh? Okay. That example of dog that I have given, right? It is one. Okay. But like some a useful this thing, which are regularly. Huh? Mirror? Sonar. 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 Correct. But give me an example which is useful, as in superposition is what is happening. A reflected wave and the incoming wave, they superpose, the meeting. No such example coming in your mind? Huh? Uh, you can say that, but in reality, it becomes very difficult. It's doesn't happen like that. But then all musical instruments, where, wherever, whenever you play a musical instrument, there is a wave, suppose take an example of guitar string. You plug the string, the wave tra get traveled, wherever it is uh, hinged from there, it reflects off. And it then meets the incoming this thing and creates a standing wave. That is what we are going to discuss. All the musical instruments, including tabla. Okay, they have this phenomena of reflection and that reflected wave coming and meeting the incoming wave. Okay? So let's say the incoming wave is this. Please write down. Incoming wave is A sine kx minus omega t. And the reflected wave These are two ways One is travelling in positive x direction Other is travelling in negative x direction Right? So please add them These two waves when superposed See what will happen Wait, sir, Is it the same wave that gets reflected? Mm -hmm. Sir, but then should it be a pi? Correct. I am taking a soft reflection right now. There can be hard reflection as well. But that will not change much. Laplace and everything we did discuss, right? Did you add? Ah, it didn't matter, right? 2a sin a plus b by 2, which is sine of kx cos omega t. Now tell me, is this a wave equation? <coughs> is it a wave? This is not a wave equation. When the two waves get added up, this doesn't give you a traveling wave. That is what you can say. Okay, it is not a traveling wave, but it is an outcome of two waves meeting. <coughs> okay, now let's try to analyze what is happening actually. So if you see that, this is the term which depends on x, that is a term that depends on time. Okay, now, don't talk, don't speak ahead of me, okay. So tell me, uh, are there any points which are always at rest? Yes. Whatever time. Two, yeah, three <coughs> points. Hmm? Yeah, if, if k is equal to lambda. If sine of kx becomes zero, Y will be zero for all the time. It doesn't matter what is cos omega t. Yes or no? Right? So, please write down. If sin of kx becomes equal to zero, point will be at rest always. Can you tell me locations of these points? Can you tell me location of this point? Try to do it. No, don't, don't just, whenever I ask you something, don't just blabber. Like, think and then speak. Think what it is. Solve it properly. Write it down using pen and paper. Every time you speak something wrong, you're getting negative mark in exam or whatever, you're not learning anything. 
Tell me x is equal to what? Zero is lambda. Nobody got it. Where I have given you lambda here? So I don't see n pi by k. N pi by k. So if kx is equal to zero, kx should be equal to n pi. So x should be equal to n pi by k. So you can put the value of n as 0, 1, 2, like that. You keep on putting these values. You get different, different locations of x, which will be always at rest. So these are the points which don't move at all. Does that thing happen in the traveling wave? That doesn't happen. OK? So these are the special points. These points are called nodes. These are called nodes. Okay. Now tell me, if I put x equal to one centimeter, if I basically what I am saying is I am just looking at a particular location. I am just looking at what is happening at x equal to one centimeter. Okay. Can you describe what is happening at x equal to one centimeter here? Looking at the equation. Yes. So it's usually a it will be a thing which is doing SHM with back amplitude. Yeah. So this, if, if you treat this bracket term as some constant, does it look like an SHM equation? Right? So that location x, let's say x equal to x naught, location x equal to x naught is doing SHM with an amplitude of 2a sine of k x naught. So this is the amplitude of the SHM of that point, which is at a distance of x naught. Are you getting it? But if k x naught happens to be n pi, amplitude will be become zero. So this is the amplitude of the SHM of that point. Okay. Now does that thing happen in a traveling wave? In traveling wave, as, uh, the amplitude of all the point is a. It goes maximum A, minimum it goes to zero. Okay? But in this case, when one wave is coming like this, other wave comes like that, there will be some point which will be always at rest. The particles are doing SHM with different, different amplitudes. Okay? So have you ever seen such thing? Suppose a string is tied on two ends, you just plug at the center and you see some, you know, the the eye sort of structure. It vibrates. Have you seen such thing? Have you seen? Okay. So this is the standing wave. These two points are nodes. And all the particles simultaneously go up simultaneously go down. Time period of SHM doesn't depend on amplitude. Okay, time period of all the particles are same. They together move up, together go down. Someone move at higher amplitude, someone goes to the lower amplitude. Getting it? So, uh, over here you can say that the distance between those two points is half of the wavelength, right? It has to be equal to uh, pi by k. Minimum distance between the two nodes has to be pi by k. So but in this specific case, will it be half of the wavelength? It has to be. That's what I'm telling you so many times. Okay, It has to be pi by k. Yes. Okay? So, so basically, you cannot have a frequency whose wavelength is less than which supports this over there. That does that make make sense? See, uh, here, the first distance of node is x equal to 0. Second distance of the node is pi by k. OK? So the distance between these two points, can it be less than pi by k? You cannot have that kind of standing wave there. It will not vibrate like that. Are you getting it? It can't vibrate. 
Okay. Now, have you seen structure like this? This kind of thing you might not have <coughs> seen. The two points, one and two, they are fixed. But if you vibrate with very high frequency, there will be natural notes that get created. So total five notes are there now. You, you have seen this? Oh, yeah, no, if you do it with a string. So, like, you can do something it's similar on a guitar. See, on the guitar, oh, you, you can see yeah, Okay, you, you know, right? Then. Yeah. Anybody else have seen something like this? Basically, all the particles, this, they will vibrate like that together. Okay? So, they are moving up and down together. But now the situation is different. There are total five notes. And distance between the two notes cannot be less than pi by k. OK? Getting it? But now the frequency is higher. The distance between these two points is lesser than these two points. Getting it? So this is what we are going to study. That kind of um, standing wave will be, there's a hard reflection, but the frequency is increased, and you continuously... Huh. Continuously, you're sending wave, and continuously, a wave is getting reflected and coming towards you. The wave doesn't stop coming. You have to do it continuously. Okay? I, I'll show you that there, are, there are some videos, but right now, I can't... It'll take time to set up. Sir, huh. also the distance between two nodes then should always be by right here. Yes, that is what we have defined, right? Yeah. We sign k should be equal to 0 for the nodes and x should be equal to n pi by k. So when you put n equal to 0, you get first node. If you're taking your coordinate system such that first node is at x equal to 0, second node must be at pi by k. Third node must be at 2 pi by k. It may happen that 2 pi by k is more than the length of the string. Mathematically, you can go till infinity. But structurally, only few nodes are possible because length is fixed. Huh. So between a node, there will always be a point which performs an SHM of amplitude 2A. Amplitude A. Plus A and minus A. It has to go up and down. Okay, so I was coming to that only. So these are the points which are at rest always. Then there are few points. Please write down. Points which vibrate with maximum amplitude are called antinodes. The points which vibrate or points which perform SHM with maximum amplitude, maximum amplitude are called antinodes. <coughs> are called antinodes. Okay? So, can you tell me where are those points? Similarly, you can derive from. Sine k should be equal to what? Sine k should be equal to 1. Ha, sorry, the amplitude will be 2a. Amplitude will be 2a. Solve it properly. So it can be, can it also be minus 1? Sine of kx, correct. It yeah, can be plus one. minus 1. So then it's just... Find out. See, amplitude can be negative also. Negative just signifies which direction it is moving. Okay? So it should take plus minus 1. Done? So k x should be equal to what? If sine k x is plus minus one. Two n minus one pi by two to two n minus one. Two n minus one pi by two minus one or plus one doesn't matter. So x will be equal to two n minus one pi by two k. Okay. So basically, anti node lies between the nodes. There will be one node between two anti node exactly in between. 
there will be one anti node between the two nodes always okay and you can also see that if suppose you take this standing wave total wavelength is how much if you draw the total wave it will be this from here to here is total one wavelength okay so one i is like half of the wavelength this distance should be lambda by 2 okay fine so like that will help you to visualize in terms of lambda also what is the distance between the nodes okay from here to here the distance is lambda by 4 in terms of lambda you can talk or in terms of k also you can write mathematically any doubts or else. Okay.